Kamoru, so I'm Jensen and welcome back to Hydraenea. In the previous episode, I can't remember what the hell we were doing, but we were most certainly going through this DLC right here, and we were kind of trying to figure everything, everything out. So I think we got to Moats Island, and we finally unlocked the ability to purchase other trucks, which I think also required access to more guild tokens, but, you know, such is life. Okay. So, here we are, back at the first area again. We still have this uh, rather compact setup, which is quite nice. And what this does is, it is taking in all of the ice, it splits it off, and then puts it into this little machine right here so that we can actually power our conveyors. Very, very helpful. And we should be getting resources like crazy, just popping out of there. Beautiful. So, now that we have that done and dusted, we've got a bunch of water filters over here. They're going to be taking some of the damage that would ordinarily go to the machines. We probably want to start looking at setting up somewhere else, don't we? So we'll take a look at a map. And we'll think about just how difficult it might be to go to another area. There's Waterside. We're at Dawn's Rest. Uh, there's Cinder Footing. There's also the Shattered Breach. Now, the Shattered Breach is actually pretty close to Moats Island. But I don't know if the Shattered Breach was actually any good. It was right next to a bunch of logic stuff, which we can just buy. It's not actually that bad. New Glade has a bunch of quests for us. Scoria Chamber is, of course, one of the areas that we can buy too. And what else we got? Lumberton Bluff might actually be the next best thing for us. It's quite well elevated, and it's right next to a store, so we can always get money. But money isn't really a problem either at this point, so I know that we don't want Waterside. Waterside is a, a bit of a waste. Actually, Waterside has access to water, doesn't it? So if we do go to Waterside, we will have access to water, which means we don't need the ice machines and we'll just need pressurized outtake pipes. I don't know if we can actually buy those yet though. All right, I'll drop that on the ground if I can. Good, we'll see how much coins we have. We've got almost a thousand buckery booze for the guild. We'll get into the back here. And then we'll see how many actual bits of money we have. I think we've got heaps and heaps of money, but we don't necessarily know what we should be spending it on. Okay, so we've got a lot of piping out here. I think maybe we were thinking about expanding down here. Either that or we've just dismantled a big operation so that we can kind of like move somewhere else. I kind of do want to move somewhere else, actually. Let's go ahead and pack some hand tools into the back of the car, and we'll see if we can't actually move elsewhere. Where are the hand tools? There's supposed to be a pickaxe and also a shovel, of which we are definitely going to need. That's it. the shovel. We'll put this in the back of the truck right here. This pog. <laughs> it's an old phrase. Uh, we probably want to dig around in all of this crap, right? Unless there's everything around us here. We can also set up all those stores. I think we got the tier 2 store set up, possibly. And we also need a sorting system. Maybe we will go to the watery area. That probably might do us some good. I don't think Lumberton Bluff is really going to do us any good. Waterside is right next to the city, which would be very convenient for us to kind of go to and fro with. Where the hell is the pickaxe? I know we had one. We definitely had a pickaxe. I just don't know where we left it. Is it down south side? I'm hoping so. Ow, my head. I'm around here. There it is. That was hard to find. Needlessly hard to find, one might say. Okay, we'll get all of these tools, the shovel and the pickaxe, over to another area, and then we'll start prospecting a little bit while we generate resources, and then we'll trade in all of those resources for a little bit more of the good stuff, that being money, of course. We definitely want a sorting system. We definitely want that. Uh, we don't actually have one here because we need to use a machine to get it up and running. And it kind of breaks every now and then, giving us an unreliable supply of water. We could probably like get better at the water harvesters or the, the ice harvester units, but I, I think it'd just be better just to have a water source somewhere. So we'll go ahead and just get that out of the way. I think it's just over here and then a hard left when we make it to the end of this road and not across the bridge. Actually, no, we definitely have to cross the bridge. We're also on the lookout for a couple of dinosaur bones as well. I did kind of want to get one of those machines, one of those gigantic vehicles so that we could kind of like excavate out another area. 
But I'm just going to come over here. We're going to see how expensive it is. If we can afford it, we'll buy it on the spot. And then after that, we will go ahead and prospect it. Is it right there? Yep, there it is right here. So this right here has access to water right there, which will allow us to kind of like hook in a crude sorting system at least. But again, like I, I don't know whether or not the underside of here is actually going to be worth digging out. Okay, what are we looking at? Water side. How much is this going to cost us? 5,000 coins. We should have that somewhere. I mean, we can always just sell our yield anyway, regardless of whether or not we have the coins. We probably need a heap of money anyway. Let's just do that. Because I don't see it in the back of the truck. So it's either back of the stores inside of the bubble city over there, or we actually are out of money. We need to go and spend a bunch of resources to get some. I'm going to go through this lava because it's literally harmless and actually is more efficient to do so rather than actually going through the land. Okay, maybe not this instance right here because there's a bit, a bit of a lump in the road. We need to figure out how to flip our car as well in the lava so that we can kind of refill the damn thing without having to get out and bucket a bunch of lava into it. Okay, the volcano is still erupting. I love that. We'll go ahead, we'll take a look at all of the other areas, and then we'll decide whether or not we're going to set up shop there, because we probably don't need access to water, and if we do set up the water access back there, the water will be too far away, unless we use the pressure tanks, which is even more annoying to deal with than the uh, water generator itself. Now, this one might be just an annoyance to get to, simply because it's up a giant bridge, which means we have to do a little bit of fiddly driving every time we go from A to B. But it is right next to the store, and we can just drive off the ledge with a bucket of resources to go ahead and sell it. Also pretty sure that the depth of this place is going to be significantly deeper than the place we are currently at now, so we'll get enormous amounts of resources, as opposed to what we're getting now, which is very little resources. Okay, so how much does this one cost? This one's got lava all around it, actually. This one could be the one. I do kind of like this one. How much is it? It is 5,000. It seems like all of them are 5,000. Let's go ahead, refuel our car, because we're pretty low on the fuel. And then we'll go ahead and uh, get the five grand required to actually get this place up and running. And if we need to, we'll move all of the machinery from the first place that we are set up at. And we'll just get it all over here. Okay, fill that up. Get on the back here. Jump up here. Put that into the intake. Good. Take that again. Nice. Refill this bad boy once more. Maybe two more? Yeah, two more. And after this, we are leaving this area. I think this is going to be the place that we set up full time, though. It's actually, it's got nice views around us. We are pretty far from the volcano, but we are very close to a shop. Actually, again... The money doesn't make a lot of sense to us. Once we actually have the money, we won't need to be near a shop. But I also kind of like how this place is surrounded by lava. So we can always get pressure going no matter where we are. And the conveyor belts from the water generator seems to be fine regardless. Okay. We'll come all the way over here with our freshly refueled truck. And I'm going to just drive off of the ledge because I am a heathen. Let's see if we make this jump. No, we did not make that jump. <laughs> that was the driest falling I've ever seen in a video game. Yuck. What is this thing made of? Paper? Can we get this through here? Kind of. If we force it. Nice. Uh, I'm going to go that way because this way is not blocked off by a bunch of rocks. Probably should have just taken the bridge, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to probably cross that one off of the possibilities that we could set up shop at. We know its strengths and we know that its weaknesses are actually pretty substantial. To be quite honest, massively substantial. So we'll go over to this next place, which I think is supposed to be just across here. We'll stop so we can see the map really quickly. Yep, so we're going to the Shattered Outpost next. Which I don't know how far away this is going to be. But we don't really need this one to be any closer to a shop. Because once we have the money, we basically don't need to bring it back to the mine itself ever. Because we're not buying anything in the mine itself. Good, good. I see all of the icebergs over here. There's got to be one place that is actually just ideal to set up at. I don't know where it's going to be, though. 
We also need a bunch more guild tokens to actually get the excavating trucks that we need. Kind of like get to the bottom layer of all this stuff. Okay. So I already see that there is a gigantic pit of lava or something from here. It's already steaming and smoking. It's kind of cool, actually. I like that. This is a weird area and kind of hard to navigate. We are right next to a logic store over here. So the sorting system... Actually, the sorting system would be really, really easy just to get once anyway. So through here, this is the shattered outpost. Yeah, there's the power works. That's all the logic stuff. There's a spare truck here. We go in through here into the shattered breach. This right here is another area entirely. So we have a single pool of lava. I think that's going right into the middle of this area too. So we've got this giant bridge here, which may be quite annoying to deal with. But we do have a giant pit of lava here. Where does this end? Ah, just kind of... Yeah, I don't think we'll set up here. That's just an annoying layout to have to deal with, I think. And the area is relatively small too. How much is it? It is still five grand. It seems like all of them are 5,000 buckery booze. So where was the next one? There's, I think there was one more. Maybe? It is Scoria Chamber. Oh, there's also the cinder footing that we haven't really seen which is basically from here straight to the volcano we'll go take a look at that actually we should probably back out this way and then we'll take this exit bridge here so we don't have to faff around on all of these icebergs right here because they are kind of hard to navigate on a car okay coming all the way out this way and we want to go basically make a straight dash to the volcano and hope that we find the dig site along the way. I actually see it. I see the dig site. It's right up there. We're looking right at it, essentially. We also got to keep an eye out for those bones, too. Because there's about three bones that we're missing to complete the dinosaur in the museum. Weird. Okay, is this it? No, that's not it. Okay. So, there's probably a sign over there that tells us whether or not we're actually in the right direction. I could just pick up the map and look, but... We'll check the... We'll check the signs anyway. That is boat. Okay, we've got nothing over there. I think they're trying to tell us that there is a dig site that way. Where are we looking? Oh yeah, we're not even close to it, so... Let's go ahead, get back into the truck. And we'll want to go this way Across this bridge, and it should be on our immediate left. Good, good, good. So through here and across the lava fields. Should be a dig site. I don't really see any entrance to this area. Oh, maybe this is it. Uh, doesn't really look like we've got good access to lava nor water. But there could be some at the bottom of here. I'd say. What is this place called? The name of it might give us a hint. This is... What is this called? It is cinder footing. Okay, that just means it's at the base of the mountain here. So this is actually closest to the thing we would need it to be closest to. And it's also not terribly far away from all of our other stuff either. Maybe this is the place. Maybe this is where we want to set up. Because we want to climb that mountain a lot to get a lot of machinery and we're probably going to need to set it up there anyway. Okay, we'll go to the other base. We'll get our minerals. We'll sell them. And then I think we'll use that to buy that dig site. And then we'll just start setting everything up there. We'll set up the piping initially. We'll try and dig out as much as we can with the pickaxe. But I won't be too surprised if we kind of need to use something a bit more heavy duty. We'll also focus on quests as well. That could be another thing we focus on. But with the current material generation that we have, it's probably not worth doing yet. We probably do actually want to move all of our stuff over a little bit. Okay, so just over here, at the foot of the mountain, these two dwarves are standing guard. We've got our crap. We've got all of our crap over here. I'm going to go ahead, shut all of this off. I'm going to take the bucket, and we are going to go into the city. Where is the bucket? It's just down here. I want to hit this little lever right there. Excellent. We'll take this. Okay, the lag. <laughs> the lag is insane. We want to take this bucket to the jeweler. Put this over here. Get into the car. Nice little bit of frame drop. That means we've got lots and lots of resources to sell. 
We'll take this to the jeweler. We'll see what we can and can't actually sell. And then we'll go and buy the other dig site. We could also check out the other one that we didn't see. What was it? What was it called? It was... Scoria Clearance? Clor Cradle? Something, something like that? The water is actually not an issue to us, especially once we get a sorting system. We aren't going to want to shut the machines off whatsoever. Okay, we'll come on through here. And we'll turn this little gap right here. And we've made it to the village, the starting village. This is where the king lives. Now, freezing his ass off, wealthy as can be. Okay, we'll come in here. Get out of the car, obviously. And we'll take this here bucket, and we'll see what we can get for this frame drop of, a, of an item. Mind me. Huh? I'm just mooching about. Okay, how expensive is it? 42,000 buckery boos. That'll do just nicely. I'll take those 40,000 buckery boos. We'll jam it into the back of the truck. We can actually buy every dig site for that. Still got some of those yucky energy crystals as well. Probably don't want them. But we don't really have a choice. We have to mine them regardless. It'd be nice to have a bin of some sort. To just to get them out of the way. But I suppose the auto smelters are still good regardless. Okay, we'll come through here. And go through this corner. We'll go straight into the other area and we'll start prospecting as soon as we can. We'll make a, a little bit of an egress down to the bottom of the map. Actually, no. We'll go over to the Scoria Chamber first. Because if that place is better, maybe we'll just set up there. It's pretty far away from the volcano. But the drive isn't really the issue, is it? It's really just waiting for the ores to be generated at some point. And we've basically got water sorted anyway. We can create a self-sustaining machine using the ice that we mine up regardless. We just need to pick a place. I do think the water place, though, might save us a little bit of a headache in case we get unlucky and we don't kind of like mine up enough water to sustain the conveyor machines, and then that'll just clog everything up anyway, which is just going to be flat out annoying. So if we go through here, turn onto the lava pits, which fortunately do not damage the car hilariously. And we want to go across this little ravine down here. Hopefully we can. Wow, that should be much deeper than it actually is. I saw the ground going way, way deep into the earth. Okay, so we are on the other side of the city. We've got good egress to the city from this place, I think. And it should just be over this way. We've already passed the last one that we vetted as a no. Why am I on this hill? I just realized I probably shouldn't actually be on the hill. I should just take the road. Probably the fastest way. That's why roads are there. Because it's faster. You don't have to bump around and bleed momentum. Uh, this one's also close to the other village. Which is not too far away. Got an arrow pointing up that way. That is going to be a dig site. Apparently there's another dig site that way. Going to ignore that completely. We'll just go up here and we'll see what this last dig site can offer us. Because if it is the one... We are going to snipe it. We are going to snatch it. We are going to mine it for its resources. It is very far away from literally everything, though. Okay. Just through here. This is the one. It's got a huge sign. So, Scoria Chamber. This place doesn't have any access to lava whatsoever. So, I'm a little bit... Ah, dig down for fire. Ah, okay. So, this place is actually exactly where we want to be. We can set up some machines to get some tier 1 resources, and then we'll go even lower to get some tier 2, and we'll just move the grinders down. Boop. There we go. This is now our place. We've purchased the Scoria Chamber dig site. <laughs> the ch achievement is called Where's the Lava? Let's try and dig down. We've got a really, really crap tier 1 pick. This place is huge, actually. I think this place is supposed to be endgame. Can we dig into this? Right, okay, so... We'll just go straight from the middle. We'll try and dig down as deep as we can. I don't really think we can get many nukes into here. And why would we even bother when we can just do all of this out by hand? Excellent. Dig down. Ah. Can Dead Space 2 be in the next week's vote? I'm really excited to see how you like it. Uh, sure, since you've nagged so much, I'll, I'll stick it in next week's vote. But I can guarantee you it's not going to be the winner. I can, act, I can very guarantee, much guarantee you it's not going to win. Because people don't want to see such an old game be played uh, on YouTube anymore. Especially alongside all of those other games that have been in the vote. I'll stick it in there just as kind of like a Hail Mary, but 
Don't hold your breath. It just, it, it won't be the winner. <laughs> I can almost guarantee it. Personally, I joined it much more than the first game. I wouldn't know. I haven't played it. But it's going to be kind of hard to beat a 2023 remake. Especially since I know just how jank the old Dead Space engine is. It's a classic. I can't imagine why. Uh, because there's a billion Let's Plays of it on YouTube already. And uh, people have either already seen it or they've oversaturated themselves with it. It was a very famous one. The only reason I had any viewers whatsoever, and that the viewership was very, very low when it came to Dead Space 1, was simply because I was playing the remake and not the original. If I played the remake, no one would have turned up whatsoever. I haven't had any issues with the engine. I've had a couple of issues with the engine. They used the same engine to make number three, and that one, I had a bunch of uh, little fiddly issues with hitboxes and stuff like that. Although I did play it on console, so could be why. Okay. Now, I don't know. We probably just want to go down until we hit the bottom of the tier one soil, right? Because as it currently stands, we only have tier one machinery, so we can't really dig much further down anyway. Okay, good. Yeah, no, it was a little bit of a shame. Uh, Dead Space 1 was almost a channel killer. <laughs> I think by the time we'd finished it, there were only two people who were actually watching the live streams. And compared to the one we just had, where 10 people turned up to play a game that just came out, it, it, is, a, it is a channel killer. So, again, like, don't hold your breath. It's probably not going to win any votes whatsoever. I could leave it in there for months on end. It still won't get anywhere near, like... <laughs> I, I don't even think it'll break 20% of the, of the popular vote. Unless somebody who really wants to see the game creates some kind of YouTube botting system that just automatically votes on the poll. But why would anybody go to that length of trouble when I could just choose to play the game on a different day myself? Okay, good. It's so much more fun than the first? Yeah, but it looks so much ass now because it hasn't been remade. That's the thing. It, it doesn't look nice anymore, so even fewer people are going to want to watch it. That's the issue. Is, uh, I'm, I'm, like, I'm a YouTuber, and uh, the whole point of YouTubing is the viewership. I can play any game I damn well please in my spare time. It's all about what people want to see. And so far, I've got one vote uh, that has said, yes, I want to see Dead Space 2. It's been yours. Like, I'll stick in the vote anyway. I'll stick in the vote anyway. But not many people are going to vote on it. Okay. I don't know how fa far deep this actually goes. We're pretty far into the hole. We're already past the point at which we would have found the the kind of, like, cap in the last area that we were digging at. So that's pretty cool. I'll keep on mining out this glacier, though. Is that even possible? To be fair, most of your views are video watchers, not stream watchers. Uh, no, that is that is 100% incorrect. 80% um, of my entire viewership are stream watchers and not video watchers. Uh, that's like straight from analytics as well. Half of my fan base now don't even watch YouTube videos. They just watch the lives. It's pretty crazy. The only reason I've been streaming is because the, um, oh, we've hit the bottom already. It's because people just weren't watching the videos. Like I can post a video with a nice thumbnail, but at the end of the day, I'll get a hundred views on that video and that'll just be it. I won't get any comments. I won't get any engagement. I'll get two likes if I'm lucky on a video. Uh, aside from that, Nothing. And it, it, it doesn't help me whatsoever. Because those people also don't come back. Ever. <laughs> like, if they'll leave a subscription, those people don't return. So, since everything is basically new viewers, I just... I started streaming so I could increase engagement, essentially. And also because I'm kind of lonely being essentially house-ridden with my health and stuff like that. Okay, we've hit the cap. I'm pretty sure I saw some lava particles poking through the ground over here just over this way what is this is this lava what is this what is this supposed to be this is supposed to be kind of like a a, a nuclear effect right here but we haven't detonated any nukes what the devil or maybe it's kind of like a an op patch of of gold maybe if i put a machine there it'll get lots and lots of gold i'd say Okay, so we're going to have to go down pretty damn far. The question now returns, where is the lava? Massively, where is the lava? 
Maybe we just kind of like mine out a cavern and then go to the outskirts? Because I did see kind of like, a, apparently often either that direction or the, we'll go back to the sign and check over here. Yeah, we'll go all the way over here. We probably want to take a look at the sign and just make sure that we are mining into the right direction. There we go. Right, so we're actually in the... We're not on the wrong side. We've kind of gone into the middle of the map, but we do want to go into this direction that way. Which we kind of have done already. Okay. Let's just mine out this little tunnel here. Okay, we'll keep on going all the way through here. I think this one's probably going to be a, a bit tedious because we don't have access to any of the machinery that lets us mine things out, which is actually probably for the best because we don't want to go down too deep. Otherwise, our machines would just fail to work. So we'll just go and bust all the way through here. Since the lava is underground, we should have really, really high pressure, which means we'll have really, really good output from the machines. And then we could probably just hook it all into one grinder with a bunch of water filters, like we've kind of been doing in the rest of the game. That is a really smart idea. It'll save us materials on the grinders. Probably don't need to over-invest into grinders. We just need to over-invest into the machinery that actually gets the dirt chunks, and the dirt chunks will just be processed in a single grinder regardless of... Um, what quality it is, or how big it is. The only issue with that is if our grinder just stops for some reason, if it bugs out, then we'll get a massive clump, which we've got a button to clear out right here. So, again, not terribly concerning. Got to be fair. Got to be fair to it. Okay, i got a question. How many people actually watched the last episode of Dead Space? Because I can answer that question from my analytics. Did anybody here watching the stream actually watch the last episode of Dead Space where I uh, made a gigantic sprint to the finish and beat the game, killed the hive, did all of that stuff? Did anyone watch it? Because if the answer is no, that is basically the guarantee that no one is going to be voting for Dead Space 2. I don't want to start a game that is just simply not going to finish based on unpopularity. Because then it bothers me personally. Okay, we'll get through all of this. The floor is not particularly flat, although we could just get a rake and fix that ourselves. We're mining this way, because I'm pretty sure this is actually where the lava... Okay, we haven't made a lot of ground, actually. We might want to thin out the tunnel that we're mining, just kind of, like, get us through and not really much more. Oh, what's that? Is that an edge? Ah, we've hit a boundary. Very nice, very nice, very nice. We'll bust through all of this. Okay, since we have hit a boundary, that is good information. I just don't necessarily know where we are going to be going from here. Or if the lava is supposed to be up above us. I think I see something weird every time I mine one of these out. What if I just, like, crouch here? Oh! Well, that's handy. Let's go up from here, because it seems like that's where the lava actually is. I forgot about that little trick. We were using that in Ember Cradle, weren't we? To kind of, like, find artifacts and such. And I think we are also using it in MILF's Aquifer, too. I don't think we did it at the, um, at the dungeon that we set up. The one with the really overpowered uh, system of machines that we, we planted down there. But we should probably start using it again, since we're in a new area, and we don't really know the maps very well. There's probably going to be lava up here. Let's be completely real. Okay, keep on busting this out here. Keep on going up. There should be a little pocket of lava essentially right in front of us here. If my eyes do not deceive, which, uh, looking at my, my fan base, my eyes did deceive once. I don't know how I got my, um, my first big load of subs. It's pretty funny, actually. It's really weird. Everybody these days is now... Since I had a thousand subscribers, a lot of people are congratulating me. But it's also a little bit of a shame because I've had more people congratulate me on my subscri subscriber count in the last week than I've had people wish me a happy birthday in the last five years. So I don't really know how to feel about the whole thing. It just feels kind of superfluous, honestly. Like, yeah, monetization is fine, but I already got all the AdSense stuff out of the way months and months ago. In fact, pretty close to 
maybe last February, I think, I got all of that stuff out of the way. And then since then, it's, it's just left my mind. I know I'm not going to make a hell of a lot of money, but, you know. <laughs> it's kind of weird how much people really put the stock into, into this kind of stuff. People really do take subscribers seriously. I don't know why. It should be the quality. It should be the quality that people take seriously rather than the subs itself. Okay, this is definitely the lava. So we can set up some machinery down here. Plugged into this lava source right here. And we should be able to get ourselves some really good output. I kind of want to mine up from here as well so I can kind of like see from above what we're doing as well. I'm probably not going to go as far as to create a house here. We already did that in a couple of locations. And it wasn't particularly useful in any way, shape, or form. Like, it was nice for the roleplay value, but... Honestly, it, it just served to keep us busy while we were waiting for other things like agriculture or... Or ore generation. Okay, good. I kind of want to uncover this entire pocket as well, just to know exactly what we've got to work with. Okay, bust all of this out. Excellent. And we'll keep on picking all of this... All in a big pocket. Nice. Okay. Not a lot of news in my area, though, honestly. Usually I do have some kind of news, but now I'm at the point where Yin Set is kind of doing her whole contract negotiations thing, and I can't really talk about much of it on account of it being really, really private stuff. Uh, all my friends, their lives are, like, falling apart as well. And they wouldn't really appreciate me talking about it. Not really anything positive going on. Especially since we're in a recession here in New Zealand. It seems like I'm really the only person doing well. Honestly. From what I can see, I'm the only person who's actually doing well in my life. Bit of a shame. But such is the way of the world sometimes. I know everybody else will improve over time. As it currently stands, I'm doing well. Not for any other reason other than just I'm warm and fat and happy as well. Okay, this is a fairly large lava pit. I thought it was just going to be a tiny little pocket. This is definitely enough to get us a little bit of a mine set up. So I'm going to go ahead and bust out this little wall that's uh, partitioning off where we want to put our machines and this lava here so that we can kind of start getting some productive enterprise down south side. Excellent. Good. All of that out of the way. I also do like how the maps in this DLC have almost very specifically been laid out so that you you can walk up these ledges. Because in the base game, in Ember's Cradle, you can get stuck down in the pit and you have to use the unstuck button over and over again. I don't know why the developers didn't just add a nice uh, flat surface that you could walk up. It doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, but, you know, I didn't make the game. All I did was fix that world wiping bug. That's all I contributed. Okay, bust all of this out as well. Quite a big area. Gotta be said. Once you actually get down into the meat of the caverns, it's a fairly big place. I would say. Like, deceptively big. It's definitely deceptively deep. I thought it was going to be a little less deep than it was. The depth definitely caught me off guard, but it just means we're going to get way more resources than we really know what to do with. I don't know what we're going to do with the hard stone, though. We're probably going to have to drop that into a bucket. Ah, oh, but then sticking into a machine's going to suck. Don't know what to do with that. I suppose I could put it into one of those logic bins. Or I could just set the brick size to be as big as it possibly can be, and then I'll have it outputting into a bucket from there. That might be a good idea. I don't think I can smelt the hard stone down, unfortunately, so that's not really going to be an option, I don't think. But I'm just taking a guess. I don't think you'd be able to smelt stone anyway. That defeats the whole purpose of stone. If you could melt stone, it wouldn't be stone. Okay, good. Get all of this stuff out of the way. And knock out some of this meat too. I don't know what angle this is going to kind of like come into the mine proper at. But this is the floor at which we are definitely going to want our machine. So I'll start mining out in this little roof cavity here. I think we left our other machines off. So we can't make another series of machines over at the volcano. 
But we can move the machines from the crap place down to here, and that'll just kind of increase their efficiency regardless of whether or not they're kind of plugged in now or not. Because I feel like once we plug them in here, we'll have such an efficient yield of resources that we're not really going to look twice at the other dig site ever again. It'll just kind of like invalidate itself almost immediately. Okay, good. Knock all of that out of the way. Excellent. Bust it all out of the ceiling too. And we should be good. Okay, we can probably actually set up some machinery down here. Now we have the space. It's going to be a little annoying to get everything piped out in a sorting system though. We are going to need a lot of conveyor belts. That's going to cost a lot of money, which we do have. We do have a lot of money, but it's going to be, it is going to be really, really annoying just to set up out of this pit regardless. Okay. I'm happy with what we are doing here. We should probably go ahead and get some of the lava pipes from the other base. We'll plug them in. We'll get the, yeah, we'll plug them in. We'll get all of the machinery as low as we can possibly manage with this pickaxe. And then we will just kind of like wing the rest of it, I think. Good. Or do we want to bust all of this out as well? Kind of. Now we'll definitely go and get the machines. As soon as we get them set up, as long as they're generating resources, we're not wasting time. So we'll come out here and we'll drop this pickaxe right here on the ground so we don't lose it. We'll probably also get the shovel and we'll leave it on the ground here because we don't have much of a choice. Grab that little wingle dingle right here and we'll drop it right next to the pickaxe so it's easy to see. And now we'll get into the tractor and we'll go back. We'll get our machine. We'll, we'll get a bunch of piping as well and we'll set them all up back here. This is going to be a bit of a nightmare to find every so often though, I feel. Okay, so we're bouncing around here. We just got to go over this river. Actually, we'll probably just take that bridge right there. Did a little bit of a swerve, but that's absolutely fine. All the way over here. And... We'll just go back to base, I think. Good. Oh, actually, I do have news. I've got a little bit of, um... I've got some tendon strain in my... In my forearms. Unfortunately, I've been lifting a little bit too much... Recently... Which is kind of funny to me. Like, my legs have been um, going numb when I when I press. Not because I pinch a nerve or anything, or anything. That should be pain. But they go numb because um, the amount of oxygenation that my, my muscles are getting whenever I do leg day is being dwarfed by the amount of weight that I'm actually really pressing. So uh, what happens is my legs just aren't oxygenated enough and I get pins and needles as I'm kind of like doing that workout. But now I'm getting uh, kind of like a nasty one in my wrist. So I, I got to like ease back on the exercise a little bit. I can only do leg day. The curse of every other person on this planet. I actually quite like leg day. It's satisfying. It's really, really satisfying. And I kind of find it fun. Why do I, most people hate leg day? It's never made sense to me. Okay, we probably should have just got onto the road over there. Would have made the most sense. We'll go over this way. And up this hill. Then we'll go and dismantle our operations and we'll whack it in the back of the truck. And we should be able to set it up down at the other place we just bought. Perfect. Probably use uh, some faster trucks as well. I think I saw a Mark II truck over on Moats Island, but again, like we can't afford it. So probably not even gonna be worth checking out. Here's a little place right over here. I probably picked the worst place to thread this needle. Yep, it seems that way. Okay, good. Come back over here. We'll start dismantling all of this crap. I'll go ahead and I'll just back this in. We're also going to be saving on pipes as well because the lava is not as far away. Okay, good. Put that here. Dismantle all of this. Put it in the back of the truck. And this. And this. And this, of course. It can go back in the back of the truck too. And we want that, and that, and I don't really get the others. I'm going to back this up a little bit. Yep, perfect. Now we want to go ahead and jam the rest of these into the back of the truck. As many as we can reach, essentially. Get this one, put it there, there, good, put that one there. So some of these uh, pipes have the water filter hooks on them. We're probably going to have to distinguish them later, but as it currently stands, we... Only need to get the entire operation onto the back of the truck, and then we should be golden. 
be good. And we'll put this one on the back here too. We're going to need to take that water doodad down south side as well with us. And we're probably also going to want to take all of the conveyor belts too. Huh? Which might not be easy to dismantle, but we will dismantle it regardless. Put that there. Now we've got to go underground and manually, one by one, lift up all of these things and jam them into the back of the truck. This is our little grinder right here. Perfect. We definitely want to take that with us. This water ice melter, it's called an ice melter, goes in here. We'll just call it a heater or a hot water cylinder, something like that. Come down here. Grab some of these other bits and bobs that we need, like this with a conveyor belt on it, this pipe with a conveyor. And we'll drop that there. Nice. Come down here. There's a T-junction we're definitely going to need. Probably going to need that entire setup that we have down there. Basically just set up somewhere else. Yeah, this is not nearly deep enough. Probably going to need those corks too. Take that there. Pipe with this here. Big lift on it. Excellent. Drop that there. Perfect. And we'll come down. And we've got some corks. We'll just grab them soon. Get this pipe right here. Jam this up here. Actually, this is taking ages. Why don't we go find ourselves a cart? We probably need a cart by this point, honestly. I'll go into town. I'll see if there's not a cart there. And then if there's not a cart there, we'll go over to the little island village next to town. And I'm pretty sure we're going to find exactly what we need. We're going to find some kind of cart. We can just load up the cart because otherwise we're just going to be faffing around um, going underground and overground over and over again. It's the travel that'll get us. Okay, good. Gonna quickly check my time. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a hoodie. It's really, really cold where I live right now. But uh, I'll be right back, don't worry. <laughs> there we go. Got my Elden Ring hoodie on. Got it custom made. Awesome. Now let's go on foot all the way back over here. Ooh, that's better. So, kind of like planning out in our head, I think we'll just try and make the setup about as close to the lava as is humanly possible. And we'll pipe it all out into a single grinder, maybe. And all of that can go topside, which means we can basically take the lava, maybe two lifts away, we'll start plugging in machines. And then all of those will go into a grinder, maybe up top side. Maybe we'll just have all of the dirt chunks be filtered up through the uh, hole that we made that goes up top side. We'll put that into a grinder and that can run into a sorting system. That's probably actually going to be the best way. That way we know if the grinder ever goes down or if the grinder stops, we'll know that the lava pipes, um, maybe one of the little doodads that's supposed to keep it repaired is probably broken down as well. Okay. We've got our 40,000 buckery booze. We're almost at the stores. Still needs to get that museum sorted too. I don't know why I came here on foot. Probably could have come here without foot. Okay, we need a cart. Where the hell are we going to find a cart? That is... If you can reach. Okay. There's an ice melter. I'm not seeing any carts over here. We do have another store that we built. It should be this way. I don't know if there's actually going to be anything there, though. Okay, we've got the stock market. Here we go. There's a tier one store. What are they selling? Literally FA. We've got a bunch of smelters here. Oh, we've got TNT. We could probably actually buy just an arse load of that as well. And just blow our way through. But then again, we're going to kind of like lose our way, so to speak. We, we're going to we're going to get a little bit lost. And I don't think we made the tier two store. Okay, there's a museum and a dig site. Yeah, we definitely don't have anywhere near enough for that. Cladium bar 40. Jesus. We're going to need a bunch more. We need a bunch more resources. So, since that didn't work out for us, we want to come out the back here. We want to go around this side. We're going to go and look for the village that is just on the lake. Surrounded by a bunch of icy water, if we can. Should be that way. I see a dig site that way. So maybe that's a little bit too far. I didn't think it was too far away, to be quite honest. 
Maybe it is actually pretty far away. The little village, essentially, that has all the things you can buy with the guild tokens. It's not that way, definitely not that way. And I think it was just past here and around this corner. Maybe. Regardless, we're just going to be running around the place anyway. Even if we have to go all the way back and get our tractor, get maybe a map, should be fine. Thought it was this way. It's hard to tell, though. It's hard to tell without a map. I feel like maybe we should just go back and get the truck. It definitely has a map in it. Dude just hops on lava like it's nothing. Yes, he has uh, these feet that are just made of obsidian. You know, on, a, on account of the death. The death that usually people experience whenever they jump into a, uh, a pool of magma. This guy, on the other hand, he thrives on magma, so... He just kind of bounces around. He's got glass, glass feet. Which usually would not be a good thing. In this instance, it's a good thing. So I thought the village was just... Oh, I actually see it. Just down here. I think. I think it's like forestry and industry that I'm seeing. Oh no, there it is. There it is. Found it. Has a stream beam. Also, why do you have a ton of silver coins? We've got 40,000 buckery boos. We sold all of the yield from the first mining area... Which we have basically abandoned by this point. Oh, that's where the truck is. So once we get ourselves a cart, we're going to pack up everything from that mining area. We're going to a new place, which has a far better yield. Jesus, this is cold. Stream's been good. Uh, we played a game called Thank Goodness You're Here. It's a comedy game that uh, just came out in the last couple of weeks. Honestly, it's not worth the price. Got to be said. Like, it's, I, it's 30 bucks. 30 bucks for that game and I bet it in three hours, which is a terrible uh, cost per hour yield. Okay, so hopefully there's going to be something here that we can... Oh, there's a cart right here. Yeah, we can definitely use this too. All right, good. Let's go ahead and put this over here and we will buy it. And we'll pick up all of the productive enterprise that we have at the other place that we don't want to be mining at anymore. Good. We'll load it up onto the back of this here cart. Nice. We're going to walk this all the way back. I'd like you to make <sighs> You're going to try the new monkey game? Oh, um, probably not, honestly. I've seen a lot of people are playing it. I don't think it's my thing. I don't think it's my thing. I'd recommend Asura's Wrath. Very fun game. I've never heard of it. What is that? Is that also kind of like a Souls-like? Is that uh, the monkey game that just came out? Is, uh, what's it called? It's not Wukong, is it? It might be Wukong. It's based off of a, a Chinese myth. And while I'm really, really interested in the lore, I'm not particularly interested in the actual gameplay itself. So I'm probably going to uh, skip it for a while until it becomes like 10 bucks, because they usually become 10 bucks. Those Souls-like games that are released really expensive right at the start. The Surge was like that as well. The Surge was uh, pretty expensive when it came out. And now you can pretty reliably pick it up on sale for 5 bucks. Okay. Nope, it's a great boss rush game, fighting against Indian gods. What, the, um, the monkey one? Is it actually? I thought it was, uh, China has a lot of things to do with monkeys in their martial arts. They even have, uh, uh, monkey styles in their martial arts. I've never had the privilege of doing it myself, but, yeah. Very over the top, but fun game, Sarah's Wrath. Oh, okay. I'll check it out after the stream. I will check it out after the stream. Um... Honestly, I feel a little bit of caveat emptor with thank goodness you're here. Like, it was funny enough. It was dry as hell, and half of it was just, like, early 2000s weird vibes, I would say, is, is, is probably how I would define the entire game in one sitting. We also got most of the achievements, too, so there's not even a hell of a lot else to go back and find. So I'm probably going to be uh, waiting a while with these new games. I'm really excited for Silent Hill 2 to get remade as well. The 2000s is a weird time, but I know, I was there. Believe me, I was there. Y2K? Yep. My, um, my dad was afraid of Y2K, and he managed to pack himself a bug out bag, and his plan to was to go into the woods of New Zealand with a bow, a literal recurve bow, and hunt his food with a bow. And he's not much different now, but he's 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 a little bit he's a little bit less extreme. 
The advent of Vine? Oh, Vine was definitely not early 2000s. That was like 2010s and after. Uh, maybe even mid-2010s. Vine was not even remotely a thing. No, I'm talking about like Bebo, when Bebo was a, a good me uh, messaging platform, or MySpace, when people were using MySpace. Like Raw XD, that kind of random. Not like post-2010s. It wasn't a hell of a lot uh, after 2010s. A lot of the random stuff kind of got phased out of the 2010s simply because it was weird and no one really wanted to kind of like be a part of it. <laughs> okay, good. So I'm going to drop this here. We're going to take this money. We're going to put this on the back of the truck and we are going to start loading this up with all of the pipings that we've already got. Get that out of the way because it's in the way. Put that there. Good. Put that there. Put this one here. Put this one here. This one can go here. Put that one there. Put this here. Nice. And I don't know how many more of these pipes we have in there. Quite a few, actually, it seems. Okay, put that one there. Put that one here. I'm stacking them up on the this here cart, just in case no one saw the vanilla playthrough we were doing. Because it's significantly easier to take this into the mines than it is to take each individual pipe down south side. Okay, that's probably enough into the cart. Let's go ahead and start grabbing these other ones that are just laying on the floor here. Probably want those pipes too. Grab this one. Get all of this loaded up as well. Put all of this in here. Now I feel aged. My dude, I am 30 in about a month's time. I I feel aged. I, I feel like I'm probably at the point at which a whiskey would be considered good. <laughs> <laughs> but not for long. Not for very long whatsoever. And I think people are also kind of like getting turned off of whiskey because it tastes like ass. Okay. We'll go ahead and come all the way around here. Nice. Good. Scroll this down. Oh, you'll know you feel aged if you remember Ask Jeeves. You know how Ask Jeeves was <laughs> kind of what Google wanted to be? That's, that's around about when all of the random humor that this game had was very popular. Okay, we'll take this down south side so we don't have to bugger around too much. Uh, I can't move uh, through those, apparently. Uh, and I can't drop uh, the cart uh, either. That's really annoying. That is actually just a massive pain in the ass. Okay, we'll take this cork right here. We'll drop uh, that into the cart if we can. We'll get these pipes out of the way so that we can jump without hitting our heads on anything. Good. Get all of this out of the way. Nice. And drop that there. Got another elbow here. Got a T-junction. Excellent. We've got a straight. We've got another elbow. Uh, we've got a bunch of water pipes over there. I don't know if we'll come back for the water pipes. We could probably just buy our own water pipes closer to the area because we have lots and lots of money and the conveyors aren't that expensive. They, they aren't that expensive. Okay, that should be basically everything except for this elbow. Uh, huh? Uh, huh? Uh, huh? Really, man? Okay, good. Done. We'll take this and we will go up top side. We'll throw this into the back of the ute and then we'll get the other machines that we need. What a mess. We have actually made a mess. Good. That is definitely on the back of the car. Now, for a sorting system, I think we're just going to make one there. Might make the most sense. Probably. Yeah, we want to take these up here, stick them in the back of the car. Yep. Huh? Uh, huh? Put it down, you idiot. Go ahead and grab this one. Nice. And we'll throw this one into the back of the ute. Done. One more. And we are finished with this place. I've realized that it's a, the <laughs> conveyor store is actually closer to the place we are about to be mining out than what we are essentially using here. So it's not really worth our time to dismantle this entire operation. We can just get new ones closer to the area and not have to worry about going underground and overground over and over again. Pretty sky here. Nice Aurora Borealis off in the background there. And what I can only assume to be the Deathlands. Okay. Let's go all the way through here and we should be A-OK. -okay. Good. We'll keep on setting up. This game's still fun. I can't believe it. It's actually still a really fun game. That makes you money. <laughs> God, I wonder if Logan Paul's ever going to live down that meme. Scams. 
zoo coin, more like more like scam coin. Okay, so we probably want to go in this direction just straight. And we aren't going to worry too much about the lake. Because we actually know that the water is flat. So we can't bump into anything. Okay. Bit of a, a crap dig site here. It does have access to water, but... Still, again, not particularly useful to us. Because we have the water machine on the back of the car here. We are going to need to go to and fro from the volcano a bunch to get more machines... But once we get that first kind of spiraling element of the machines set up, it's not going to be that bad. The gameplay loop's essentially just going to be going to go to and fro from the volcano to make more machines. Okay, we'll pop all the way through here. We're really close to our new dig site, and we are about to set up the productive enterprise. We didn't bring any buckets. That is something we didn't bring, so we're probably going to have to go and set up a bunch of buckets we also didn't bring any of those concrete platforms we can always go to the store and get them we can always go to the store and get those concrete platforms they're really handy to put buckets on so that the ground is not uneven and all of the resources do not just get flung all over the place okay here we are we've made it done so we want to go ahead and try and find that outtake pipe let's go ahead and move the sled Boop. move that there Get this grinder out of the way. Get all of the machinery out of the way, essentially. Good. Put that there. Uh, put that there. Nice. And put that there. Good. I'll just pile them up because I don't really care too much. Put that here. And this one as well, hilariously, can go here. Even though we wanted to move the pipe. There we go. There's the outtake pipe. We want to put this one down into the dirt. If you can call it that. All right, let's go down here. And to our immediate right, there is the pools of lava that are going to power our machinery. Now that we've got this kind of like here, we kind of want to angle this as well, don't we? Maybe like... Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and put all of the water hook filters on that one. And we should be golden to put machines on it. We've got three machines. We don't have to worry too much about how we're setting those up, though. Okay, let's start dismantling some of these. I want this one that is attached to the hook. And we are going to take a straight. And we want to attach it straight onto... Actually, we kind of want to just place this down. And then we'll take this and we'll attach it to there. And then we'll take this over. That way, we don't have to carry two little bits down. Okay, let's have it facing upwards. It's definitely closed off. Excellent. Now we need the filters. We need the filters, and we need the filters separated from everything else so we can put some automation around it. Okay, what is this? This is the water hook filter. Good. Let's try and separate these out a little bit. Get that straight pipe out of the way. Put another water hook filter. We can actually just take the filters. We don't necessarily need to take the pipes themselves, I suppose. What about this one? That's AT junction. Useless. Not seeing any of the other water hook filters, unfortunately. Oh well, we have three of them. So that should be fine enough for now. So I'm gonna stick this one here. And we're kind of gonna get this in a big line facing straight onwards. We're not gonna worry too much about pressure. The pressure is pretty much fine as long as we get more of these machines. Good. Uh, we'll get another one of these straights right here. I'll place that down there so I can put a water hook filter on it. Like so. Like so. That's upside down. Good. We'll do it like that. Now we'll pick this up and we want to place this down just in here attached to this one. We want the water fil with filter to be hooked out that way. It's again backwards. Okay, that's better. That's two out of five. We need another three so that none of our machinery takes any damage. Wow, this is actually really hard to navigate. Maybe we just want to take the cart down here and deal with it down there. I'm going to do that. Okay, let's grab this and we're going to go down into the hole with this. So we don't need to keep going upwards. I'm just going to drop it there. We also need to go up and get one of those water filters that I just left on the ground. Good. And here we go. There it is. Yoink. 
And this should be the third of five. Go ahead, drop that there. It's going to go into the lava. I don't particularly care. We want a straight pipe. That is a T-junction. Uh -huh. Ew! We don't want T-junctions. We want a straight pipe. Might want a T-junction soon, but not right now. Okay, good. Put that there. And put that there. Excellent. Need two more straights. There was a T-junction. Didn't look like it, but it was. We'll take this one. And we'll put that one right there. Need one more, I think. We don't have access to our water filter hooks, unfortunately. I don't know where they've gone. They're probably buried under all of these T-junctions, which is not amazing. But it is what it is. Okay, so that's that pretty much out of the way. We could probably do with just mining out a, a bigger space down here to work with. Before we go ahead and set up all of these machines. We should be golden. Excellent. Let's pick right here. And we'll go all the way through down to here. And since this is in kind of like a weird angle facing this way, we probably want to bust out into this direction. Probably. Maybe. Now, I did see... I feel like the machines are the things that cause the tears. Not necessarily the soil, as opposed to the base game. Because we did see over in the other store, in the bubble city that there was a big sign that said all of the machines work regardless of whether or not you are on the right tier of soil so maybe going lower would actually really help we just probably won't be able to get some of the other ores like core stone or something like that okay we'll go ahead and mine all of this out so we can place down some machinery very good very good very good i like dust it all out we just get some dynamite right blow up some dynamite down here but it's probably going to be slower to use dynamite to mine out this mine shaft than it is to use this pickaxe because it doesn't actually blow that big a hole to be quite fra frank it, it just doesn't blow a very big hole okay good get all of this out of the way shave out some more of these little tunnels and this is a little knob left. Good. Maybe we'll shave out this side as well. I feel like this side is probably the best to shave out. Excellent. Good, good. Okay. So now that we have done this, we'll probably actually start setting up the machines over here. Uh, oh, does that have a water filter hook on it? No, that is a T-junction. Piss. So that's going to be all five of the water hooks in sequence. I'm going to leave a straight pipe as a gap in case we need to plug anything into that. We shouldn't need to, but we may at some point. Then I am going to go ahead and put a T-junction right there. And what I want to do with this is have essentially a conveyor system go straight through the middle here. Yes, and then the conveyors are going to have uh, grinders spit onto them. So we'll go get some grinders, or at least once. So we know exactly how to pipe them in. That's, that's what we want. Yes, very good. So we take this down south side here. And we want to plug this in there, essentially. Okay, so if I put that there, we can elbow onto that. But if I put it here... We can elbow across, and then we can use a T-junction to filter into the top of this. Whoops. Actually, no, it has to be behind that machine, doesn't it? Ah, we can use a couple of straights on either side to space that out a little bit. Let's do that. One here. Good. And we need another straight somewhere. Where are you? Hello? Straight pipe? Where have you gone? Any of them? That one will do. Okay, so this one should go there. And we've got to mine out another little shave into this wall here so that we can kind of, like... Keep on piping and plugging. Excellent. We're probably also going to get rid of all of the top snow too. This is probably a little bit annoying. Alright, good. So here's the thing. Here's the other thing. We also kind of want to maybe expand out onto the other side of this as well, which is why I put that space in there. And we'll get like a big flank going. But if we can have all of the conveyors go out through here and then straight that way, 
we can pipe it straight out of this location. And we won't be in too much of a pickle. A right, good. Get all of that out of the way. We're just going to put three of these machines in a row. That should be absolutely fine. We'll make a, a bit of a compact setup initially. And we'll expand as we have to. But we shouldn't have to. That's, we, we should not actually have to do too much. We also need the ability to run water through here. So if we can kind of like get a splitter right at the other edge of here. And potentially... Actually, we'll need to spike this, this out one more. Because we will need the water pipes to come out of this as well. Let's move this out one more this way. Good. So we're going to need an elbow there. Let's just uh, do it now. And we're going to need a straight pipe there. Actually, no, that has to be a T-junction because that does want... We do want to pipe that into something for the T's. There's one. Good. So this has to face downwards. And then we need another one. That is a straight... That is a T-junction. Very good. We'll put that one there. And we want to elbow straight into that. There's an elbow right there. Very good. Uh... Uh, there we go. So that's piped in. We want to turn that off. Good. We need a single elbow to go into the side there. That one will do the trick nicely. Perfect. Not perfect. <laughs> it's not pointing into the place we wanted to. And there we go. So if we go ahead and turn on this here lever. Yeah, so we're not spewing out resources. The lava is surprisingly not going into the second tier of ice, which is weird. Didn't know that was a thing. Okay, but we've got that first one set up. And we can always just plug in the conveyors after we have set up the first three. The grinder, I think, will just be dumping into a bucket temporarily. We won't worry too much about uh, anything else. Okay, good. Kind of mine out a little bit of an egress here for ourselves. An easement. Good. We probably want to mine out from here, though. Get some pipes in here. All right, weird. I can see through the ice as it kind of like tries to figure out exactly how the walls are supposed to be phased in. Weird. Mm, that's unusual. Oh no, it's not. I thought the I thought the height at which the uh, floor was going to be tier two soil, soil was rising, but that's not actually the case whatsoever. Okay, so once we get all of this out of the way. We should just have a clear path, right, to plug these in, and then we just need the conveyor systems from the village beside us. And then we should be in a very, very good spot. We shouldn't even really need to go ahead and plug the machine into having any soil underneath it, because that wouldn't really make a lot of sense if that is already butting into the soil. I just don't know if it's going to be able to mine out this tier 2 soil. I mean, we could always just turn it on and see. Will it? Hello? Is that... Nope. Okay, there we go. It is actually pumping out resources, if not a tiny, tiny resource. Good! Okay, that works. So, we'll get this pickaxe out of the way. We'll get the other machines down here. We still need the other two grinders, and we're probably going to want to place that water machine. This one right here, the ice melter. Probably sooner rather than later. It requires three inputs, which is just flat out annoying. One of them is going to have to be... I would say maybe here, which means that the water outtake can go straight alongside these. So we can get maybe a left splitter to dump into there, and then we can have all of them curve up and go that way. I like how that works. Actually, it's going to have to go into a lift, isn't it? We're going to have to lift it into this machine here. Ah. The annoyance is starting. What if we just, like, stick it here? The pipes can go out that side. We can always pipe in a T-junction right here to line into there. Uh, logic lever right there, of course, and... No, other than that, it actually should be fine. Yeah, the conveyors will work perfectly. So if we do this, we can have a left splitter pipe off from basically here. We'll curve it around and have it just lift straight into this hole where it will self-sustain. Done. Okay, I like this. Uh, we'll try and pipe it in. Let's go ahead and just do that. Like so. And we need two straights now. One needs to go here. 
And this needs to be a T junction. Probably should have just used that straight pipe there that I pulled off of it. Any more T's? Hello, T junctions. We need a bunch of you. I'm not seeing a bunch of T junctions in here. Probably should just go and get a heap of these pipes though, right? We've got a bunch of them back at the other base, but I don't really want to go that far. And we've got lots of money. We can always just afford to go and buy an arse load of other ones. Okay, we'll get to that later. So that needs to be piped in. Another straight. We need another elbow to pipe in here. Good. Then we're going to need another T-junction eventually. And we need another elbow to pipe in right beside it, right here. Excellent. Anything else? This should be it for a really, really crude setup. And I do kind of want them flanking around here, but we won't worry about that too much just yet. Okay. Okay. So now that we got all of that out of the way, also, I suppose elbow in this way too. Like so. And we need T-junctions. We need lots of T-junctions, actually. That's basically our choke point now. So this needs to split off from there with a T-junction. That needs to split off... Uh, actually, it needs to split off here with a T-junction. Because there's no four-way. There's no four-way. I'm amazed by the disregard of physics not causing a cave-in. Ah, that's absolutely fine. It, it, it is what it is. Like, we should have a cave-in by now, but I'm glad we don't. <laughs> that would be very obnoxious if we had to mine all of that out by hand. Like, all of this as well. We would probably still be doing it. We wouldn't even be down here. We wouldn't have even found lava yet if that, that was the case. We're going to need a couple of T-junctions. One's going to have to go that way. One's going to have to go that way for the sorting system. Okay. And we're going to have to have the ice go first, I think, as well. Which is going to be a bit tricky to manage. Should be fine, though. Should be absolutely fine. We're going to need a couple of lifts anyway. So let's go ahead... We'll take the sled up top side, and then we'll go get another sled, and the other sled will be for pipes. Pipes and conveyors, essentially. Because we can't afford it. We've got so much money. Okay, good. Come over here. We'll get into the truck this time. We're not going to walk around like an absolute nonce. The T like T posing asserting its dominance and importance again. Uh, more of like a T junction, although we can T pose. We can flex on people with a nice T pose. Sometimes I'll do that in real life, just to keep people on their toes. Especially when I'm driving a car. You know, nothing nothing frightens somebody than somebody T-posing while driving a car. Especially if you jam your foot on uh, both the accelerator and the brake at the same time. <laughs> what asshole would actually ever do that? <laughs> I'm just picturing it now. Like, I can picture, like, Gen A, maybe, if somebody is, is stupid enough to do so. But definitely not somebody rational. Okay, we'll come in here. May as well just leave this money here, honestly. We'll get this cart. Good. Pull it back here. We'll buy it, obviously. And now I think we'll keep on going through. Someone's bound to have done it. Yeah, I can almost guarantee someone has done it right. But how smart are they? That's my that's my main concern right here. Okay, we'll get a bunch of these here. T-pipes. We're doing the same strategy that we usually do, where we just kind of, like, create piles of pipes. And then we have heaps on hand. We get a bunch of these T-junctions. We're going to need billions of them. Well, maybe not billions, but we're definitely going to need a few. Uh, we're also... Actually, we are going to need heaps of these T-pipes because I just realised we're going to get the sorting system set up as well. An actual sorting system. An automated sorting system. Good. Get all of this. Just kind of like dropped onto this cart. A gigantic pile, if we can manage it. Excellent. Nice couple more, I think. And now we'll get these straight pipes. We'll move around a little bit. Actually, we'll just kind of, like, do it like this. Excellent. This works. This is functional. This actually works. Not very well, but it does work. Okay, good. Excellent. They've settled. Nice. We need a heap of these straight ones. Don't underestimate people. Oh, I'll, un I'll, I'll overestimate somebody's ability to drive while T-posing. I never underestimate somebody's intelligence, though. Yeah, just when you think somebody could not get any stupider, they become stupider. It's almost as guaranteed as death and taxes. Okay, this one's next. This will go right here, I suppose. Can we just 
just drop it here. Yeah, it should be fine, actually. We're only 25 buckery boos each. This is actually pretty cheap. Now, we're going to need lots and lots of elbows because otherwise we won't be able to get all of our stuff topside through the sorting system. And we're probably going to have to line in a bunch of the different conveyors on each level as we kind of, like, advance. So it might take a while. It might take a while to actually get to the third tier. But once we do get to the third tier, we'll have set up the infrastructure to just plug it in, like a, a modular thing. Okay, drop all of this here. Excellent. Dropped a couple off of the side there. I don't particularly give two hoots. I will take them anyway because they may serve us useful later. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. We'll buy all of this, which is only going to cost us a measly two and a half grand. That's actually very cheap. And aside from that, we're probably going to need some conveyors. Just a couple. Just a couple of conveyors. So as it currently stands, we need a left splitter to feed into the uh, water machine. And we're going to need a right conveyor to split off into the other machine. We'll get a left. We're also going to need, after we go left, we're going to need two rights. So we'll get two more of these rights. And we will also need a heap of these straights. We're going to need a bunch of them. Billions of them, one might say. Okay, good. These are a little bit expensive. I'm not going to go overkill with these here conveyors. We don't need an overkill amount, but we probably could get an overkill amount. It's a shame we can't buy concrete here. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that on the sale point, and we have checked out our cart. We'll leave that here because we're definitely going to be coming here anyway for more of those delicious, delicious pipes. And quite likely the conveyors as well. Okay. We'll go right across this lake right here, ignoring every single safety precaution known to man. And we should be fine. Good. We'll go set all of this up. And we should not really have anything else to worry about necessarily for a long, long time. We still have those bricks that are going to be uh, coming out of the earth as well. And I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do with them. Because we do have a brick processing machine, but it's fairly limited. I'll just, I'll wing, we'll wing it. We'll just wing it. Okay, here we are. We've got our second cart. Let's go ahead and get it off the back of the truck. And we'll start piping in the conveyor system. Down here. Excellent. Probably want to move all of these pipes as well. Oh, we did move all the pipes. Excellent. Okay, so let's go ahead and start planting these down. Because we're going to need a couple of them in some really fiddly places. One has to go here. We need a T-junction. Damn, we've buried all the T-junctions. No, we haven't. Uh, one needs to go facing that way, and the other one needs to go here facing that way, so we can pipe out top side here. Uh, this one needs to... Actually, this one's going to be really, really easy to line in, I think. Uh, it can't be from this way, though, can it? It can't be from this way simply because the... Logic has to be here, and I feel like the conveyor systems are just going to block into it. Uh, I've got a fix. It's not pretty. But we are basically just going to be able to handle it. Not like that, good sir. Yeah, like that, and then we'll need another elbow, which we don't have down here. Uh, I'll get to that later. As far as this currently stands. So this... We don't want this to be a machine because we're going to have pipes and conveyors coming in from there. Let's go ahead and drop that on the ground. Throw this on the ground as well, and we'll replace this here with a straight pipe. Done and dusted. Now we need a couple more of these straights to go all the way out. So one out here. Now, why do I do all this? So that the conveyor can wrap around into this side here. That's why I did that. We want this to basically elbow in from here and then go this angle here. Find ourselves an elbow if we can. Is it an elbow? Nope, that's a straight. Any elbows, please? Yeah, there's an elbow here. Gonna need a couple of these. So we probably should just get a couple off the cart. We'll need at least three. Those are all T junctions. We'll get this one here. So we want to pipe this in like so it's gonna be kind of ugly but it is going to work actually we don't want that one there we want that here and we want one of these to be a lift let's go ahead and just whack that there hopefully that'll 
function. Uh, do we have a right bend that we can access? Maybe this one? Straight conveyor. Nope, that can go right there facing that way. I don't think we do have any that we can just really access. We've got the left conveyor, which we should be piping in there. That's going to be ice. Nice. Where is the conveyor we need? Those are all straights. There is a lift right here. Can't really do anything with that until we elbow in the rest of these pipes. Okay, let's do that right now. We'll pipe in this elbow here. Uh, like so. Get another elbow. This one right here. And we'll put this right there. Done. So that's going to be a lift. The lift is going to be really easy to plug in. Because it's very obvious which one's the lift. We now need our corners. That's a straight conveyor. Not useful just yet. What about this one? Straight conveyor. Not useful just yet. Okay. We're running out of room. That is a left conveyor. Good. So looking at the direction. We want this to go... Actually, none of this is the right way. None of that's the right way. Why did we get these? Did we mm -hmm. only need the rights? Did we only needed right conveyors? That's embarrassing. Okay, we'll drop that there. I think we got two of those as well. Yeah, here's a right. So we want this to hook on there. Perfect. And then we want to continue along with a single straight right here. I know it's very, very compact in this mine. It won't be like this forever. We will have uh, some pretty good range by the end of this. Okay, another right conveyor. Excellent. This one goes there. And then we need another right conveyor that just pipes straight into this hole right here. And in fact, we probably should also put a hook centralizer on it, realistically. We'll get one more of these elbows. And hopefully we've got another right conveyor. Although I wouldn't be too surprised if we don't. And we'll need to cork this up eventually too. Right there. Done. Now we could probably chop and change this so it's not piping straight out there. Probably have a, maybe like a T-junction come out of there. Because this piping system is kind of ugly. We just turn this like so. Then we can pipe in down from here pretty easily. And then this doesn't have to be a T-junction. We can put a T-junction there that elbows into that. Next. Uh, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. To change all of that, oh, we actually do need to so that we can access that logic right there. Okay, so we want to put that there so that the logic is coming out this way. And thus we can kind of like save ourselves some piping uh -huh. by piping in... Uh -huh. Okay, move all of this into the lava. Get all of that out of the way. That straight is a waste of space. So on here, we need the right bend going straight into the top of there. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. And that needs to pipe into something that's not an elbow. So I'll take this. This needs to be a T-junction. A couple of elbows up here. I know the infrastructure is kind of broken, but it is what it is. Okay, and now this here goes there. This doesn't need to be there specifically, does it? We can kind of elbow into this one, or we could T-junction this one and elbow into it. That needs to be an elbow facing into there. Another elbow here. Ah, we'll just stick a T-junction close to the actual machine that we're powering, so we increase the pressure. Good. Okay, so we'll get this T-junction here. We will jam it straight onto this face right there. Very nice. So that should be that lavered up. We need a little reader here to give us the lever to activate it. We have got the little hook here that solidifies that. We need more right bends. I don't know if we've got any more right bends. Probably not, honestly. We probably didn't think that far forward. Okay, we'll get this here. Left bend, which is now actually useless to us. I'm just going to leave it upstairs. I usually think that we would want something going in an opposite direction anyway. So I usually get one of an opposite direction. But it didn't do us any good in this instance. Not this time. Our stupidity was, uh, was punished rather than rewarded for once. Okay, got that out of the way. Let's get another machine down here. 
And we'll see what we've got to work with. Where is it? That's the grinder. So I'm feeling like we should probably dump everything into a grinder and then have another sorting system coming up. So this right here should be a right bend leading into a lift that leads into the grinder, which we'll just plug in here. And we should be absolutely A-OK -okay to pipe that in topside. And then another elbow. Don't have one. Bit of a shame. It's fine, though. Okay, so now that we've got that, we want elbows coming in from this. Well, maybe we want this to be a T-junction. No, won't work as a T-junction. Not unless we uh, pipe it sideways, and then the lift won't work. Okay, good. So that's going to pipe in to the grinder. And then we'll pipe all of those materials outside of the grinder up top side here. We'll have kind of like the MILF's aquifer system that we had. I'm getting all these pipes out of the cave because they are just blocking our way at this point. Jump and drop. Get the grinder. So we want to put this bad boy essentially facing right into here. Huh? Why can't I place that down? Is it because this is in the way? That would suck. There we go. Drop that there. Okay. So what's the output? What is the output? Okay. Is it the opposite side of the pipe? That's not output, is it? No, that's intake. That's output right there. So this has to go... Ah. Has to go basically... Ah, that is tricky, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to have to change the piping that we've got here. Just a little bit. Not too much, though. Because we need to be able to pipe lava in down here. Can we? Maybe. Lift it before it gets up there. No, we can't. We don't have enough space. Unless we move this machine just over further that way. Which we probably could do. Let's do that. Let's just do that. I mean, it's better to do earlier than later. Okay, we'll move that over there. Uh, these have to be moved over one, which means we need a single straight pipe. We don't have one. Damn. <laughs> okay. Come all the way up here again. We'll get a single straight pipe because that's what we need. Take that one straight from the cart. And we'll jam that right down here. Done. And we want to move this straight conveyor facing that way and this one facing that way. So, good-ish. We move this here. We swap these two out. Whoops. It's facing downwards. That's not useful to anyone. Swap that one out. And then we put this... Hmm. This is an annoyance. So, if this goes completely straight forward and splits off here... I'm going to need to put this one basically like that. There needs to be a straight pipe with another straight conveyor leading onto it, which actually further convolutes this other water system that we've got here. But we should be able to take this here pipe, turn that around. Uh, we're also not piping out the water from this either, which is a bit stupid. So that has to pipe out there. Get this pipe in like that. This one goes here. And we'll just kind of elbow it into here. So we use that left bend that we have at the top side. Uh, we need an elbow. Good. And we'll stick it plugged into that. All right. Now we have also left a gap for the lava there. I don't think we need this to be a junction whatsoever at this point. But one of these has to be a junction. I think this has to be a junction right here. But we can't place it exactly where the uh -huh. lift is, annoyingly. Okay, let's get that uh -huh. off where we need uh -huh. to work. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Drop the damn thing! Uh -huh. Oh my god! Find literally anywhere to throw it. I don't care where. Okay, we'll take this and we'll put this facing up like that. We'll elbow into there and we'll get another straight pipe. No, we'll get a T-junction. 
from here. We'll get two T junctions. We actually need a couple of the little wingle dingles down here. We need two junctions and, a, and I think an elbow. We'll do that. We'll get two junctions and, of course, an elbow. Excellent. So over here, two junctions. Boop. Throw that down there. Another one. Boop. And we also need an elbow. That should be all the pipes that we need for now. Where are the elbows? Right here. Good. Excellent. This will be easy to grab. Okay, now that we're down here, let's go ahead and plug in the water purifier. Excellent. No, sorry, the ice machine. Now we need those two junctions to line into there. Which looks disgusting, I know, but it it will have a trade-off. It will have a trade-off that we like. So if we put this there... Oh, I think those are also connected there, so this doesn't have to be a junction. Whoops. Ah, why not? Why not just have it as a junction? Sure. I'll keep it as, as what we've already decided. It's already plugged in, but quite frankly, I don't give two hoots anymore. So what I wanted to do was, like, plug it in like this. But I think I've massively convoluted everything. Also, we can't... Oh, bugger. We can't lift onto the... Onto here. We can't, we can't lift on a corner. So this would have to be... Different. We have to put a straight there, and then move these uh, forward one. Which means we can't stick that... Hmm... Yeah, so the setup we've got here is actually kind of fiddly, isn't it? This water collection system, pain in the ass, absolute pain in the ass. Unless. 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 This facing in here. And we elbow this in like that so that the lift actually does. Bunts into where it should be. And this, again, we don't need to change this, honestly. That can still just be a junction. Doesn't really matter. Done. So that is going to line into the side of the grinder. And it's still going to spew resources out the front, which is still fine. Still fine and dandy. How the hell are we going to pipe this in? <laughs> we could probably get another junction right here. Or we could just get a pipe that... Alright. Yeah, check this out. Check this out. Check this big brain move out gonna pipe in another pipe right here whoops i'm just endlessly rotating it like so maybe maybe like that no that's stupid i hate that hmm a little bit tricky a little bit fiddly it's the placement of this water system that we've got here which is a little bit annoying but we do want to be able to access it from outside of the area this here seems completely unnecessary, honestly. This pipe just going in here is completely unnecessary now that we've freed up this little bottom space here. So I'm thinking maybe that should be the junction. Throw that on the ground. Get that somewhere mm -hmm. else. Throw that literally anywhere else. Don't care where. This should be here. So we can junction in two elbows here and one more elbow if we can sp spare it that is that just needs to be an elbow okay so we'll curve this around like that good we need one more elbow i don't think we've got elbows i think we just saved a bunch of straights we need two more elbows down here okay and that should relatively fix everything two more elbows two more elbow lava pipes and we are gold much like that weird kind of nuclear glitch that we've got down there. Okay. Two elbows. One elbow. Good. We'll throw that into the hole. Whoa. And the other one is just up here. Very nice. There it is. Good. Excellent. So, we'll elbow both of these in and we should basically be good to turn everything on. Aside from all the buckets and such. Okay, that's easy, and in. We need the other elbow, and that should be all of the lava piping essentially done. And I think we've actually set this out a lot easier and better than the other base. Okay, that's definitely not going to be a junction. Let's go ahead and move that junction here. That elbow can be moved 
Veer. That needs to be a straight pipe. We have straight pipes everywhere. Let's go ahead and put that there. Good. This here needs to be a straight conveyor. This needs to be a right bend. That's probably a straight conveyor. Nice. Excellent. Put that one facing the right way there. And that is the water system basically done and dusted. So we need a right bend now. And we need that left bend as well. To pipe that into the grinder. Then we're going to need a little platform of concrete so we can put a bucket down. And we should be good to go. I'll take this one. We'll plug this in down south side. Uh, like so. Good. We're going to need to mine out a little bit of a, a better access for ourselves. Why don't we just do that now, honestly? While it's on the mind. And it's, it's not even going to take that long, honestly. It's going to take less than a few seconds. Uh, done. It's, it's done. It's literally done. That's how long it took. Okay, so we need a right bend and we need a lift. And then we're going to need a full conveyor system to set up the sorting system out the front of this. However, we're also going to need water on this side. Yes, 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 yes. So, let's go ahead and unplug this elbow. We'll put this elbow here. Or here. Here. We need another elbow. We'll need a junction right here. And then we'll need a few more conveyor belts. I don't think we'll kind of like have the in front of the grinder set up though. Or at least we can get a valve water hook and then turn it off, keep it off. So that w the grinder can actually work without, you know, shipping all of the resources out into dumping all over the floor. And okay, we need a single junction. that can go down there. And we also need an elbow. One elbow, just the one. This should be it. It should be it until we get the sorting system piped in from underground here. Which we can actually do in a line as well. Okay, good. Now, if I go ahead and put a valve hook there, we'll be able to turn off the water that goes in front of the grinder. So that we basically just turn the sorting system off at that point. Because all of our water is basically going to have to come in from that point. I like this. This is actually fairly elegant. I know it looks a little bit hideous, but it's not. It's not actually that hideous. Okay. Good. We'll take this pipe top side because we can't really plug it into anything. And now we need those two little features, don't we? So what have we got here? We've got a straight pipe. Drop that on the ground there. That, I'm pretty sure, is a straight. Good. This is a straight conveyor right here. This one is a straight conveyor. Good. Straight mm -hmm. conveyor. Again, right here. Nice. We've got another couple of these straight conveyors. One there. And another one here. I'm just hoping they're not going to roll into the into the mine. So, we need a... What do we need? Was it right bend? A right bend and also a lift? No, we don't need a lift. Yes, we do. We need a lift and we also need a right bend. Right bend and lift. We're going to go to the store. We're going to the store and we're going to go get that. A right bend and a lift. Hopefully I don't forget by the time we get back. Okay. I'm going to gap it straight through the store. I'm not going to waste any seconds. Need a right bend and we need a straight pipe. Pretty sure it's this way. Yep, I see it. Okay. Excellent. Man, this is like playing Minecraft all over again. You really got to learn the navigation of the game. A lot better than you might think initially. Okay, good. That volcano is still so cool as well. Excellent. All right, so we solved a puzzle under the ground, and we are almost ready to turn on the machines. We still need a block of concrete. Shut up, my dude. Okay, so we need a lift and we need a right. We need a lift. We need a right bend. Good. And we've got a bunch of straights that we can just dump onto. Oh, we also need a water hook. We'll get one of those too. Where is the hook? Hook, please. Oh my god, my kingdom for a hooker. Please? Why do they sell them here? That is so weird. All right, let's load these back into the car. And then I think we'll take a trip into town so that we can get that block, so we can put that bucket on. Actually, we don't need a block, nor do we need a bucket, do we? We just need the... I'll oh, piss off. We just need the water hook. Okay, good. Put that there. Put that there. Get into the car so that the lift doesn't fall off. We just need a water hook, which apparently they don't sell here. Do I have money in the back of the car? 
No, I do not. I've got guild tokens. That's not useful to us in any way, shape, or form. We'll go over here. We'll get our 29,000 buckery booze, which is what's left after setting up the very crude sorting system that we have. Go ahead, throw that there. So what we can do with the grinder is we can dump that all onto the platform and we'll put the hook centralizer right in front of it so that no matter what is on that conveyor belt, it's going to be in the middle of the conveyor belt. And then we can convey that straight into a bucket, which is going to be much more reliable than having a grinder just dumping into the bucket in the first place. Because the grinder tends to... It, it, it waves its, its, its loads around like it's... Um, like it's losing its virginity at prom. But that's that's not how you're supposed to treat it. That's not how you're supposed to lose your virginity at prom. You're not supposed to wave it around and just hope something happens. You gotta you gotta know what you're doing. You gotta do a little bit of research. And I think the research that we found is that we need to have our load aimed. Like a married couple who, who've been happily married for 10 years and know each other's bodies like the back of their hands. You know, that kind of thing. All right, good. We're almost there. We've got a bunch of money, which is awesome. I love that we have money. Now, what do we need? We only needed hooks, didn't we? We only needed water hooks. So let's go ahead and take our money, see who sells it. I bet it's this store right here. Do you guys see it sell? Yes, right there. Excellent. Probably want to take a couple of... A couple of the uh, forks as well if we don't have one. I'm going to take this lantern, because I can't really see what I'm doing down south side, and we don't really want to stay blind, do we? Okay, we'll leave that here. We'll go and get our hook, and we'll also go and get our lantern. This hook is probably going to be the most valuable thing. Oh, a little hook up there. Mm -hmm. Valuable thing in the circuit, because it'll stop the conveyor belt from dumping all over the floor. Okay, good. Over here, and drop this lantern in here, and we are gone. We are ghost. Bye-bye. Bye, stupid city. Full of stupid people. Don't know how to mine the resources that are literally all around them. I wonder what's up with the NPCs of this game, to be quite honest. I never know. I just never know. Okay, good. So, we'll come down here. We will ignore this dig site and we'll go up. Well, maybe down. We'll go down into the ravine. The ravine is actually much easier than just driving on normal flat, uh, normal flattish ground. Again, it's the momentum. It's the momentum we don't want to bleed. I love the snow chains on this on this truck. I don't wish I owned a truck like this. I'd immediately take that back. I would not want to own a car that was powered by molten hot magma. Could you imagine if you got into a crash? There would be no survivors. Okay. Coming up the hill. We're almost home. We've almost got the last couple of pieces that we need for this rather... rather well laid out... Uh, uh, I mean, you could probably call it well laid out. I don't think it's min-maxed, but it's definitely fairly efficient. It's fairly effective. I don't really care about min-maxing it too much. I don't care about min-maxing the conveyor system at all. That doesn't make any sense to min-max. Okay, good. We've made it. Crash into a pipe a couple of times. That's fine. Get these off the back of the truck. Get this lift here. Get this one. Uh -huh. We'll try and place it down here, and we'll just drop it in the sky. And where's that hook? Where'd that hook go? There it is. It didn't look like a hook for a second there. Okay, we'll come all the way down here and we will make sure that this is disabled before we turn it on. Otherwise, it'll just poo its resources all onto the floor. Yep, that's disabled. Perfect. I mean, it's not like the water's going to be powered anyway, but we do kind of need the water powered so that the machines can process. Okay, so what we need here is a single straight conveyor to go in front of here like so excellent now we need to go all the way back to the surface we need to get those other two little <laughs> conveyors that we did that we haven't mined out a very good staircase here maybe we want to use the unstuck button more frequently okay good come down here i can't see i literally cannot see half the game that sucks uh yep that looks about right and now we need that one right bend excellent and then we should be good to turn the machines on because as long as it's all on the conveyor belt, it doesn't actually matter. There it is. Excellent. Cool. Okay, so now that we have all of this plugged in here, I kind of like how this splits off, actually. Like, I, I do really like it. It looks industrious. 
probably get a funnel for there as well, but then we'd have to get another lift. All right. I'm going to go ahead and mine out a little bit more passage because I just hit my head on the ceiling limit and I didn't like it very much. I didn't like hitting my head whatsoever. Okay. Mine all of that out. Just so we can get back there easier. Come up here. Okay, so one of these water hook valves is busted. That's fine-ish. We need the other two water valve hooks, don't we? We'll go and get those now, just before we forget. So we take all of the strain off of the machines. We're just gonna need a couple of repair kits, I think. Uh, that's not what we want. They are on here, I think. What is this? Just an elbow. This is not sorted very well. I'll just start dumping these onto the ground, I suppose. And a big mm -hmm. pile. Okay, good. Put that one there. Not seeing a lot of water hooks. At all. They should still be attached to a couple of pipes as well. Oops. Uh, put that there. Put that one mm -hmm. there. Elbows will go over there, apparently. Put that one there. Put that one there. Yep, stack these up. Nice. Put that one there. Put that one there. Mm -hmm. And we'll put that one there. Whoops, that was placed. Put that one there. Okay, got another elbow. It can go over there with the elbows. Excellent. And got another one here. Junction. We've got one more of these pipes here. Another one here. I'm not seeing these water hooks. Do we take them off, maybe? Oh, we got a we got a cork. That's absolutely fantastic as well. Oops. Didn't mean to equip that. So, okay. So, we've got one water hook here and another one right there. Perfect. So, we didn't lose anything. We were just being a little bit a little bit blind. It was probably hidden behind all of the, um, the other crap that we were using, though. Okay, we'll go ahead and put that down. And where else? Where else is the other one? Didn't I just drop it off the edge of the cart? Huh? Oh, there it is. It was on the back of the truck, not the sled. My bad! Okay, come down here. And we want to go into the access tunnel, just over here. And this goes... There! Beautiful. One more. One more. There it is. Go ahead and pixel hunt that one into our hands. And we'll place that there. Okay, so that is all of the strain taken off. Now what we need to do is actually kind of, you know, set up the... Set up the, the, the repair kits. I was wondering what we needed to repair things. But my brain was going, oh, you need to fix that. And I was like, yeah, but what fixes it? My brain was like, it's not important. Just fix it. <laughs> okay. We'll go ahead and put that in the back of the car. And now we're going to go off and get ourselves some repair kits. That's right. We got back to town. Just really quickly. We're going to get a few of those repair kits. And then we're going to just going to... We're going to keep them down there. It just makes the most sense. We don't need to drive all the way off of here, right? If we just follow the road, we should end up at the city. Kind of how the game's been functioning so far. Whoops. I've hit something. On this flat road. Something hard enough for my car to just lurch out of out of its direction of momentum. Why? Who cares? Who actually gives two hoots? Alright. We'll see if this road actually does it does some good. Or if it does us dirty. Doesn't really look like it's about to do us dirty though. It looks like it's actually about to take us straight into the city. Alright, that's good to know. We'll commit that to memory, if we can, if my memory can handle such a thing. Okay, we'll come around. I've already forgotten what we had to buy. I'm sure I'll be reminded. I'll be reminded as soon as I get to the shore. So we got uh, repair kits. It was repair kits. All right, let's get some repair kits. I'm pretty sure we have to go up here. Is this where they are? Yes. I actually do see them. Yes, I know. I've been doing that. I've already crafted one more machine. Okay, put that down there. Grab a few of these bad boys. Tool bags. One, two. That's a billboard. No, thank you. And grab another tool bag. Another tool bag. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Ten is fine. I'm happy with ten. Is this where we buy it? Hopefully. Let's go ahead and get our money, our 29,000 buckery booze. We've got so much money. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're going to spend half of it. Okay, done. I think I also just bought that pin board. Oh, well. Waste not, want not. Uh, we probably also don't want our money there either, do we? Well, that looks like ass. It looks like we've got a caravan. The world's laziest caravan maker made us a caravan. It's got a tiny little roof that we can just kind of squat under when it's raining. Other than that, it's cold. It's a cold caravan. Okay, good. Got everything. Now, let's gap it out of here. We'll tip the truck over. And we'll also hit every building on the way through as well. Sure, why not? Now, I'm pretty sure this is the way back. I'm just going to follow this road. And hope it doesn't do us dirty again. Okay, excellent. I don't think it'll do us dirty. I don't think we're also going to use that quest board either. I, th I think we'll probably use... We'll probably stick things on it, but ultimately we won't use it as diligently as the game would probably hope we do. We also need to get some platforms to make kind of like a... A big resource. Big resource uh, manufacturing base up topside as well. So we're probably going to need lots and lots of concrete slabs. going to need an anvil. We're going to need a, a bunch of smelters. We're going to need a bunch of stuff, really. But I think that's going to be a concern for the next session. Because as long as we get set up at this next little area, we should be absolutely fine. Okay. Carry on up here. And we are home. So now that we're here, let's go ahead. Oh, I forgot I stacked all those pipes. I was wondering what the hell that was. I thought maybe I accidentally bought another one of those pin boards. Let's grab this here. Cart or sled. Uh, that one, yes. It's got all of our repair kits on it. We'll just leave this in the lava next to all of our productive enterprise. Okay, good. And I'm going to turn around. And I'm going to dump my ass into this lava right there. Done. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and fix all of these here water filters. Every single one of them. So we're basically fresh from the start. That's right. We also need to filter out the water too, don't we? So we'll get that out of the way. Need to plug in all of the machinery as well. So as soon as we can actually get ourselves... Ah, there we go. Ice. So we want to dump this into the ice machine just over here. And instead of making a nice slushy, we want to process it. Nice. Is this going to work? Almost. Almost works. I need another piece of ice, I think. Oh, yes. Okay. So we don't necessarily want that to go up there. We want all of these materials to not be split off right there unless it's ice. So we'll put a little piece of ice right there. That way, we'll split everything that we need to split. Okay. And now we need an elbow of the lava pipes. I think we've actually gone up here, don't we? Where'd it go? No, it's a conveyor belt. I was mistaking it for a conveyor belt. Uh, we need an elbow in two junctions. Just so that we can get these machines hooked in. Elbow. Probably should just mine out a little drop shoot as well into the lava. And two junctions. That's a junction right there. Perfect. Go ahead and drop that through the hole. Nice. Oops, I fell in myself. It's embarrassing. And we need one more junction. I beg you, game, please do not rob me of this. Oh, no. Are we shot? Oh, perfect. We have exactly the amount required. That's going to be annoying. Let's just go ahead and grab that. Put that down there. Okay, so. Want to pull that in here. Nice. That one is now also plugged in. Let's also turn that off because we don't have a conveyor system in front of it. Uh, we'll get a couple of the pipes down south side as well so that we can actually plug them in. And we probably need a couple of straight conveyors as well. Okay, so two straight pipes, I think, is what we need for once. For once, it's literally as simple as two straight pipes. Hello there, Kickstarter. How are you today? I'm doing great. Uh, I'm going to mine out a little bit more egress because we can't really see what we're doing. And then we'll stick down the conveyors that we need. Because the last machine over here is half encased in ice, which probably isn't good for it, let's face it. 
I want to be able to get all the way around here as well in case we need to maintain any of this crap. Because it is all crap, isn't it? It's all... At the end of the day, all of this is just crap. They're just possessions. You can't take them with you when you die. What's the point of even having them? Come around here. There's something much more valuable in my eyes, and that's mobility. We want to be able to come around this way. Just dig this out of its encasement. We also don't want to have to stand on the conveyors because they do move you around and it can get a little bit annoying. I'll just drop all of these bits of ice down into a pit of hell. And almost done. We're very close. I am really gl uh, glad that we don't have to like shovel dirt into the bum bum of these machines though. That is so nice. Okay, lag spike. A little bit of a lag spike there. Is this machine still going? Yes. It's kind of slow, though. I wonder what the pressure's like. Probably not great with this hanging out. Uh, we need two elbows to be lined in here, otherwise we just have the modular, I suppose. Let's just go ahead and use the elbows. I think we may have another elbow over here? No, those are, those are pipes. We want the lava pipes. They're completely different. Okay, we'll put that one there. Now we just need one single lava elbow, and all of the machines should be up and running until the water filters break down, which is a problem for another day, I think. Go ahead and dump this one in the back of the machine here. Like so. So. Like so. Okay, now we need to put the conveyors down here as well. And we also need that one straight pipe, which I'm pretty sure we do have down here. No, those are both elbows. Embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Oh well. Okay, uh, straight pipe. There. Now we need two conveyors as well. I don't know if I can drop the conveyors down and still be able to get down there. Take this one off of there. It's got a hook centralizer. That is perfect. We actually do need that. And we'll take this one over here too. Excellent. Angle that properly. Good. And this one. And go onto the end over here. It may drop water pressure, but we don't need the conveyor system to be particularly fast. This one can get lined on right there as well, and we're going to take this hook centralizer. We're going to stick it... Good question, actually. Here? Here? No. Can't put it on the corners, can I? There? Might be a good idea. Some of them aren't going to be centered, but I think in the grand scheme of things, it should be absolutely fine, right? In fact, it might be in our best interest just to get our pickaxe and just bust out one more block this way so that we can have that hook centralizer right there. We're also going to need a gem polisher, but we probably... Oh, we do need to split them off, don't we? The gems, because they're just going to clog up the muncher. Ah, that overcomplicates a lot of things, doesn't it? Ah. Ah. No, it doesn't. Okay, so... We just need... No, we can't have like a... We can't just stick a split... Oh, no, we can actually, because these aren't even... These aren't even minerals yet. Oh, we haven't even processed them. So, no, I'm just worrying about something that's not even an issue. Okay, good. Mine all of this out. I'm just being a, a, a bit of a... A bit of a dick, it seems. Okay, get all of that out of the way. We'll drop this on the floor where it belongs. That is definitely off. Yes, it is. We are going to take this machine here and we're going to place it right there. We're going to move this elbow right there. And we're going to move this elbow, uh, hopefully, right there. Good. I kind of want to keep mining that out as well, just so I can see the pipe functioning. There we go. Otherwise, we'll kind of not be able to know if anything's even happening. Uh, that is just a frost rock. We'll put that on the what's my dingle right there. Excellent. And now we need to put that T-junction right here. Like so. That's plugged everything in. We need one more straight pipe, which we've probably got somewhere. We've got a junction there that we're not going to use because we can't really stick a junction there. We'll use this straight one. Nice. Okay. We'll hook this in right there. Everything should be piss off. Seriously, my dude. Why? Why isn't this one going? Thing usual. It's definitely got power. Ah. Huh. Wonder why. 
Okay. Let's go ahead and drop that there. And the hook centralizer is in perfect position. We need the gem polisher right after here. In fact, we could probably even put the gem polisher right on this platform right here. It's not yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Wow. Huh? Huh? All right, fine. We'll just deal with what we've got, which is just frustration and annoyance. Okay, good. So most of that's going to get processed. All of the ice should... Wait, seriously? It didn't even reach. Why is that on there? Weird. Put that there. Get one more little chunk of ice into here. No, nothing. Okay. Embarrassing. Okay, good. Now it's all filled up. Perfect. So... Now that we know that functions as intended, we'll put this hook centralizer right on there. I'm going to drop that on there. Good, it's working like a charm. Perfect. I don't know why this isn't functioning. It's definitely powered. Maybe we do need to shovel some soil into its bum bum. Or maybe this one here is a... Just a better drill. Not to be confused with Benadryl. Which, of course, is a medication. Okay. We need one more straight pipe and one more straight conveyor and then we should have everything that we need put that right here nice and we'll come all the way up here for a single straight conveyor we definitely need a better access out of here though this is terrible okay i'll take this one because it's not really in a stack which means it's taking up space put that there turn that on okay this one works this machine here, it actually works. This machine does not work. This machine does not work. Maybe we need to shovel out some resources. Are they going to stack on top of each other? Please don't. No. Okay, good. Right. We need a shovel. Where is the shovel? It's not in there. God, what a mess we've left in the lava pit. Let's ignore that. Let's ignore that for now. We'll get a shovel and we'll try and filter some soil into the bum bum of those other machines. Where would we find such a tool? Probably right over here. Yeah, I would have left it right next to the sign. It's where I usually leave them. It's because it's really obvious. Okay, good. We'll come on through this little hole right here again. Let's take some soil from the wall right here. Put it up its bum. Is that good enough? Okay. How about here? No? You want even more? My dude? There? Nope. <laughs> okay, what about this one? That's not functioning. Why aren't these working? There's only two of them that literally are just refusing to function. This one works perfectly fine. It's the other ones. They don't work. Huh? Okay, we'll drop that on the ground. They are definitely plugged in. All of them are plugged in. Okay, this one is one of the crap ones. Yeah, it's definitely one of the crap ones. This one is... This one's the one with the bonuses. That one's got roguelite stats. And it's just not functioning for some reason. Is it too low? It can't be too low. Doesn't make any sense. Why is this one working? Is it placement? Or are the others just absolutely carked it? Let's find out. Okay. We'll get the good one there. It might actually be the placement. It might be that there's no soil down there? Huh? Which wouldn't really make a lot of sense to me, on account of the fact that we have actually put soil down there. Put soil right there. And if we place this down, is that going to work? No. <laughs> I don't get this game. This game is so wacky. That sometimes, like, machines just won't function in certain places. I know that we can put one of these here and it'll work. But oh well. Womp womp, I suppose. Okay, let's go ahead and put some ice into the ice crusher. And whoop, there you go. Get some more ice pretty close by. There we go, there's a bunch of ice right here. We'll throw that into the crusher as well. There we go, done. Are they going to make it? Probably not. Yes, good. Okay, how's the grinder doing? The grinder is doing stellar. Look at that. I love this. Well, that's, those are huge chunks. Whoa. Those are huge chunks. Okay, we are leaving this at a very, very good point. 
East of Lamb, I'm back. Three hours of sleep is apparently all I get. What is this game? This is Hydroneer, and you'll have the luxury of watching the stream right from the start because unfortunately I have to go. I have to go and grab Yinset, and we have to take her from her workplace, bring her home, and feed her. So, I'm not going to stream that either. You, you guys can just picture what that looks like in your kids while I'm gone. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Hydroneer that I have made, and right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you're going to find a link to my Discord, where you can talk to me and my community personally. And of course, until I make the next episode, or you catch the next stream, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!